difficult, but it's fun. Placement is 100%. They're very heavily recruited. The plastics program at Ferris, I think they started it probably in the early to mid 70s as an associates program. I think it started out of, uh, you know, plastics industry is big in Michigan, you know, automotive obviously big in Michigan and they, they needed people to run machines and things like that. In the early 80s they added a bachelor's program so we're getting more into the engineering side of things. Plastics Engineering Technology Program uh, is a program that focuses on the material polymer plastic and uh, its manufacturing techniques. The focus tends to be on how to make a plastic product, how to qualify the plastic product, how to design the plastic product, and of course how to manufacture it and, and make it saleable. This is an international degree. There, we have a reputation all over the world. We place students in Europe, Japan. Many of our alum end up in Europe, Japan, China after a couple of years with the company. Uh, the part I love about the major is, is our professors and our, our curriculum. It's difficult, but it's fun. Everything, everything meshes in. It's really interactive. What we can do with our degree here is pretty open-ended. We can do anything that deals with plastics. There's a lot of reasons why students should come here. Number one, it's one of the few in the United States that's uh, recognized as a plastics training environment. Uh, we're one of maybe seven uh, in the United States. The practical education gives the students a skill base that is applicable immediately upon entering the workforce. Many of our students find uh, that their skills have given them a leg up in terms of career pathing. And of course, we have 100% placement. The thing about the plastics programs at Ferris and the rubber program, they're actually isn't a lot of competition. One of the nice things for the graduates is they're very heavily recruited. You know, there, aren't, there aren't plastics engineers uh, graduating anywhere you know, in Michigan other than Ferris. I wanted to go into an engineering degree, came up, visited the program, sounded really interesting, and uh, signed up, been in it for the last four years. Probably the first two years, the associate's degree, there's a lot of, it's very broad. There are. Uh, um, many different plastics molding processes. They work a little bit with each of those. Um, they work in processing, they have a design course, they have a testing course. Um, they'll work with different kinds of materials. Second two years, the bachelor's program, it gets more specialized. They've got some advanced processing courses that they would be taking. Um, they've got decorating and assembly course they would take. They've got an advanced design course they would take a, a materials course, a number of manufacturing courses, things like quality control, maybe plant layout. They're going to learn how to take a material and convert it through uh, a, some kind of manufacturing machine into an end product. They're going to understand how to set the machine, how to make it work efficiently, effectively, uh, and uh, uh, develop a quality part that is again saleable. We have over 200,000 square feet. We have eight injection molding machines that are industrial sized. We have five extruders that are industrial sized. We have a bank of thermal formers. We have uh, all the uh, test equipment, typical test equipment that a company would have in order to evaluate the characteristics of a polymer. Um, about anything typically that you'd find in a plastics manufacturing environment. We start the students out on fairly simple equipment. You know, they're learning the basics of the processes, so they're on, uh, it's the same type of equipment they would be using in industry, it just tends to be a, a smaller version. As they move forward in the program, the equipment gets a little larger, a little more complex. There's maybe some more involved with the uh, programming on the machine. Uh, some of the advanced molding courses they do, they call it a closed loop system where they monitor the pressure inside the cavity and it can change machine parameters on the fly. We've gone on internships. I've been on three different internships and they've all treated me great. Uh, the last internship I was on, I made $22 an hour. Uh, you get to experience a lot, travel, and that's just internships. Uh, a lot of opportunities open up as you graduate. We require interns as part of the degree. Actually, there are two. There's one early in their education, there's one late in their education. So they have one at, after their freshman year. The focus there is for the students to go out and get exposed to the industry mainly so that they get a little more uh, savvy and under, have a better understanding of the, the industry, but also to assure that they're in the right area. We don't want a student to come through three years and then find out I'm not, I'm not in the right environment. Um, in the junior year, we want the students to have an effect on the company. So they have to go out and work 
in an environment where they're running a plant, uh, you know, a shift. They're they're in the design loop. We're very fortunate to have a number of companies in Michigan, you know, hundreds of companies that work with plastics, and uh, they they typically. A lot of these companies in the summer may be a busy time for them, they need summer help. So it works out very well that uh, you know, our students do internships. Well, upon completion, we have a lot of different opportunities we can go in. Basically, it's industrial, you know, we go into industry with the plastics and polymers. But uh, talking project management, plant management, process engineering, a lot of hands-on jobs, really. If they need further information, they certainly are welcome to contact me or the Plastics Department office, and our number is 231-591-2650. you access the website, you'll see course offerings, you'll, get a, you'll see a profile of the faculty. There are some frequently asked questions. It's here to stay. Plastics aren't going to go away. This is, there's a career here.